So I think this is one of the first um, talk throughs that I've done in a little while. I think the last one was like uh, eight months ago or like, I don't even know, like it was like last year, sometime around this time. But um, I don't even know what makeup I'm gonna do to be honest. I'm just kind of gonna figure it out as I go along, I guess. But um, I've already primed my face. I've used the Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Balm as a moisturizer. And then I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. Um, I'm also thinking about using this Becca Poreless Ever Matte Perfector base on my nose because usually when I put on makeup and I go outside, like my nose is always the first thing that's always oily. Like my skin is so weird. It'll be, I feel like I have combination skin and then sometimes I feel like, I don't even know. Like it's just annoying, honestly. But I'm just gonna put that on my nose and on my forehead and my upper lip area. I always color correct before I do my makeup because I feel like it just makes my makeup look a ton better, like just a lot better. And I either use my, either use the uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal or I use this NYX um, Contour Highlight Palette. And this one I got at Ulta and it was like 10 bucks, I think. This one is in the deep color, it's deep 03. And I'm gonna use the orange color, that's right here. But I'm gonna use this. I just got a little bit on my um, on my finger here, and I, you guys always tell me that I have really nice skin. But it's like my skin is nice sometimes. I feel like the makeup covers it mostly, but I have a lot of darkness like around my mouth area, uh, the side of my my face. I also get a lot of acne, um, and I'm kind of working on it. I just don't really know what products to use. So if you guys know any products that help with like discoloration in the face, let me know because. I would love to have my skin looking perfect all the time without too much makeup, but I'm gonna use this color corrector. And I'm hitting any area that looks a lot darker, like um, the side of my cheek. It's dark. I have a lot of acne scarring from when I was in middle school. I used to have really bad acne. I and mean, I still get flare ups, but thankfully it's calmed down. I also kind of have a bruise right here that I'm trying to avoid putting too much product on. Because, like, I woke up and for some reason, I just like scratch myself on the face. I don't know. I think, I think I need to cut my nails. I'm just not like, I don't know. It was really annoying. And then it ended up having a scar, which is even more annoying. Everything is annoying. <laughs> my favorite word today. Okay. So I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Uh, small stippling brush. I don't know if I ever really mentioned what brushes I use, but I think like 90% of my brushes are from e.l.f. from the studio line because they're only $3. And if it sheds too much or if it gets like really bad, then all I have to do is go buy another one because it's only $3. And I don't feel like I'm, you know, spending too much money on it at all. Cause I mean, who doesn't have an extra three bucks lying around? I think they're worth it and they're really good quality too. So I would have to say they're my favorite affordable brushes that you can find at the drugstore. Cause I haven't really tried that many from online. I already did my eyebrows too, obviously. They don't come this naturally beautiful. Um, I use pretty much the same products as I used to. I can put in a little clip here so you guys can check that video out because honestly, nothing has changed. I still use the same stuff. Oh my God, so am I. This is my favorite foundation right now. It's the Tint Eye Doll Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. And it's in the, um, the Tint Eye Doll Makeup Stick. Thing. 
it's from Lancome, um, SPF 21. So, you know, got my gun, gun, <laughs> my sunscreen game on fleet. The only thing I don't like about it is, okay, so I don't have any more products, so I can't roll it up, but there is a ton more products in here and it's pissing me off because I can't get to it without using like some other type of brush. So I have to use this, um, little makeup brush right here and then like dig inside of it to get the rest of the products out. I swear it's like a, I don't even know how much is in there, but there's a crap ton loves and you wouldn't even know it. Like if you were just to use it as a stick and just like throw it away when it's done, you're throwing away a lot of product because it's a lot left in here, girl. Like so much. Okay, so after I got my dots on, I swear it's going to look nice when I blend it out. I'm going to take a different stippling brush. This is from e.l.f. again. I either use the, this e.l.f. stippling for this particular foundation or usually I use my flat top powder brush from e.l.f. Again, this is $3. Um, their brushes are bomb. $3. Come on. Like, that's a deal, honestly. So I'm going to take this. Kind of pat it into the areas where I put the orange and everywhere else. This one is kind of old though, so it's shedding, which is pretty annoying, but I'm dealing with it. <laughs> I'm gonna say annoying like 50 million times in this video, I swear. You know what, actually I'm gonna switch over to my powder brush because this one is not doing it. It's not. Okay, this is a lot better, a lot faster. Don't know how much memory I have on my camera. And it doesn't show. So win, 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 win. I just love how natural this looks. And uh, I'm not sure how well it matches me now, but when I first got it matched to me, it was like the perfect shade. But I think I've got a little bit darker, or I don't even know. I think it matches still pretty well, especially once I blend it out properly. Look how beautiful that finish is though. Like it looks very natural. Um, it is pretty, full. I wanna say medium coverage, maybe full coverage if I put more. No, who am I getting this is full coverage? It's really pretty though. Look how nice the light bounces off of my skin. It looks very luminous. <gasps> just looks so cute. Like I, I could just go out like this. Like this is it, I'm done. Like so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna take my MAC Mineralized uh, Dark Deep Skin Finish and kind of tone down the shine a little bit and just kind of like go over um, my face very lightly. This brush I got from CVS. Um, I don't exactly remember the name because it has rubbed off, but honestly it was too expensive. It was like, well not too expensive, but it was $20. I don't even know why I bought it in the first place. Like, not worth it at all. I should have just gotten a, a big stippling brush from e.l.f. Because this one, it was not, it's not that great. Especially for $20. Okay, next I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I know this concealer has been talked about by everybody and their mama on YouTube, but the hype is worth it. Like, it is amazing. I love how it looks on me. I did end up finding a dupe for it, and it's the Sephora brand um, Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. They honestly look the same. If you guys want me to do like a comparison video where I put one on this side and then one on this side so you guys can see, I can do that. Um, but today, I'm gonna be using my NARS because it is my favorite. I do reach for this more than I do for the Sephora, um, mainly because I just like it. And I don't know. 
I think this one is a little bit lighter than my Sephora one. So it does a better job at highlighting. Honestly though, I think I could go a little lighter with this color or with the, um, like go one shade down to highlight a little bit more. So I was watching Sade Bangs, like her recent makeup tutorial. She is gorgeous, y'all. Like if you haven't subscribed to her, I would suggest it because she is bomb. I feel like I'm constantly shouting people out and like I don't put their names in the description. <laughs> but um, I'm going to put her name down there so you guys can see her. She is so pretty. Like I can't. Um, but I'm kind of, I kind of want to try her method of contouring her nose. She does this like upside down mushroom shape on her nose and her, like it looks so cute on her and I just kind of want to try it out underneath my cheeks too. Might be overkill for some of y'all, but I want it to look beat and snatched and everything and I know this looks like a lot because it is and I'm extra anyway so I'm gonna use my what am I gonna use for this but you can't guess what brush I'm gonna use or what brand <laughs> oh, if I can find it what the heck Okay, so this is my favorite, or one of my favorite concealer brushes. Uh, I use the stippling brush too sometimes for my concealer underneath the eye, but for right now I'm gonna use the ELF Flawless Concealer Brush. Honestly, I really like how this foundation and concealer work together without using a setting powder, but I'm so afraid of the concealer like moving and then me looking crazy. So I kind of avoid not setting it by setting it <laughs> like I don't want to just leave it there you know and then I'm gonna be mad if I'm like walking around looking a hot mess concealer down to my chin because it wouldn't stay underneath my eyes so we'll be setting this as a precautionary measure you gotta be cautious girl make sure you look cute all day not just for an hour And I can't find my contour color that I, I'm in love with that I probably should throw away. It's probably good that I can't find it. So I'm just gonna use my NYX um, contour palette again to contour. I like to do my highlight first. Just a personal preference. I don't really, I don't like putting them both on at the same time. Bam, blended. And to blend, I just kind of pat and, pat and like drag, I guess, into the direction I want the concealer to go in. But don't drag it too much. If you don't know what you want, just pat it. Just pat it in and, you know, live your life. Get a booty blender because that will definitely help you. I have one. It's just really dirty and I don't want to use it. I need to clean it. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in Warm Honey. And I do this because I still kind of have uh, a line here. Can you guys, you, you can tell. There's like these, um, I don't know what they call it, dark circles. They're not even, I don't know. It's annoying. So I'm going to cover it up. How many times have I said annoying so far? Probably like 20 times. Everything is annoying. I'm just gonna put that right where that crease is. That's really annoying. So, bam, right there. And that's it, cause I'm not trying to be 
too extra, just a little bit extra. And that usually helps brighten up a lot more. Uh, I wish I could just leave this just like this, but it's not gonna happen. Like, as soon as I walk outside, my face is literally just gonna fall off. Do you guys have any tips on how to keep it luminous like this without having to set it too much? Because honestly, this looks gorgeous. And I would love to not have to set it, but I have to. Unfortunately. So I'm going to be using the NYX Deep Contour Palette, and I'm going to use the darkest color. Um, this is an e.l.f. brush. It's only a dollar. This is their regular line brush, and it's not that bad. I would recommend it if you're looking for something cheaper than the $3, but I mean, if you can splurge on that $3, girl, get it, because those brushes are bomb. Anyway, going into the hollows of my cheeks, and you can kind of already see where the product should go. I don't have any contour on right now, but you can see it right here is where it should be going. Also, temples, um, I'm, I really want to try that contour that Sade Bangs did. Shady Bangs, Sade Bangs. She's so cute, y'all. I can't. Um, I'm kind of afraid, though, because, like, I've never really... Like, I contour my nose, but I don't really do it that heavy. So I'm kind of nervous, and I don't want to mess up. Especially since I'm filming. And this contour shade is okay. I just want a lot more drama, and I feel like it's not dark enough. I'm trying to look snatched and like be and all of the above. And usually I do my makeup without a wig on. So this is <laughs> kind of annoying. But you know, I'll be alright. Also going underneath this jaw, honey. Making my face look like a whole new face, like. Just, just carve it out. my setting powder this is from Sasha cosmetics it is the Sasha buttercup setting powder I got this mainly because um, Jackie Gaina suggested it not like directly to me but I watched her video I'm, gonna, I'm, like, I'm like I know her no but um, I saw her talking about it in a video and I was thinking about either getting this or the Laura Mercier and I'm still kind of curious about the Laura Mercier I just haven't gotten yet um, this one was cheaper so I was kind of like mm, okay got the cheaper one and I really like it. This is all I've been using to set my under eye lately. And I'm gonna be setting it with my booty blender. If I can find it. Where is you? Like I shouldn't even set my face though. No, I'm just gonna set underneath my eye and live my life. Okay, I'm gonna set underneath my eye. Just right there. To maintain the luminosity. The luminous mass of my face because I don't want it to go away. I'm trying to stay glowy. Actually, this, I know I'm okay. I think I, I, I'll be all right. It's still uneven, but I don't care. It's good enough. All right, so I'm gonna let this set for a little bit and then zoom in. 
veins in my eyes. I'm actually about to wipe off this um, the powder that's underneath here because I don't want it to look too washed out. I feel like I don't tell you guys enough how I appreciate like you guys viewing the videos and stuff and being constantly supportive even though my style changes like every five minutes. So I'm always into something different. And then you guys are there for me. So I appreciate that. I see y'all. Thank you for that. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit underneath my eyes and I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what I'm gonna do with the eyes. Alrighty, and while that's setting, I'm gonna be using my uh, Vice palette. I don't even know what which one it is. There's a number on it. Like it's just, it looks like this and inside looks like this is dirty don't judge me and I'm gonna be playing around with this color right here it's called flame also bitter bitter is my favorite I also use that to contour with I'm gonna be using this later so I'm gonna be using bitter uh, flame which is this one and then this one is called delete and probably this one up here which is called frame my dear So I'm gonna be using my, well actually I'm gonna first prime with um, my LA Girl Pro Conceal and then set that with some Sasha Buttercup. Oh, I look so golden. I love this. Look at that lighting. Perfect. Melanin, am I right? I'm just glowing and stuff. And then patting that in to make sure it's all good to go. Okay, so my favorite blending brushes are um, at the moment. So these two are from Luxie Beauty. These are the small tapered blending brushes that I got from Beautycon. And I use these in almost every makeup tutorial that I've been doing so recently. Um, this one is from e.l.f. This is a shadow blending brush. I also use this to blend out my um, contour. I have two of these. I don't think this is the one I just used. This is the clean one. And then these two, uh, these are from Targets and they're from the... I want to say studio, real studio, or I don't even know, but these are really good too. Kind of affordable. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my Luxie Beauty Small Tapered Brush, and I'm gonna dip into this uh, Delete color from Urban Decay. Hope you guys can't hear that music that my neighbors are playing because it's kind of loud. This is the color that I use mostly for my transition color when I'm doing my um, makeup tutorials. I think it's really pretty. If I can find a contour palette that has this color in it, in a powder form, that would be amazing because I also use this to uh, contour. So when I'm done here, you're gonna see me use that contour. I'm just you know, letting you know. Okay. And that looks all cute. And the next color I'm going to be using is Delete from the same palette. I'm going to try to concentrate this only in the crease. As much as I can. Sometimes it gets out of hand. Then you just kind of go with the flow. Whatever makeup you're doing. I feel like a lot of makeup gurus don't tell you that they kind of go in back and forth between the brushes that they, they're they using. So I'm gonna go back with the brush I use with Bitter and blend this out a little bit more. Perfect. And then go back in with some Bitter and then go on the crease again because I feel like it's a little bit too dark. 
Okay, now I'm going to be taking my NYX um, eyeshadow base in Skin Tone. I really do need some new primers, so if you guys have a favorite primer, let me know because the girl's struggling. She's trying though. I'm trying my best with what I got, you know? Making lemons out of lemonade. Wait, making lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> okay, next I'm gonna go in with my, ooh, driving stuff. This is from Wet n Wild. This brush was, these brushes are really similar to the Elf brushes. And uh, this one it was a dollar, I wanna say, three dollars. I got it from CVS. I'm going into the color Flame, which is a really pretty color, as you'll see in a second. Hopefully it'll show up. Nope, I should have put something underneath that. Well, actually it's showing up a little bit. Can you see it? Uh, dang it, I should have put something underneath. Okay, I'm going to use this, and then I'm going to go over it with something else. I didn't realize it was so light. Jeez. Or I might just keep it like this. I'm not sure yet. I'll see what I, I'll see in a minute. This is such a pretty color. This is my first time using it actually. I've just swatched it and said I was gonna use it and then I ended up not ever using it. This is so freaking pretty. I feel like I messed up a little bit. I'm going a little bit too high. When you're applying eyeshadows that are glittery, try not to go too high because it will get in your crease and then it'll be smudgy and it'll just get in the way of all of that hard work you put in. Trying to make everything all blended. Yeah, I think this is okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna be, what else do I need here? Yeah, you can already tell it's like going up into the, my crease. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the delete color and add it to the outer corners of my eye. This brush is from It Cosmetics. Uh, this is their Heavenly Luxe No Tug Dual Shadow Brush. And this is what I got in my, um, it cosmetics kit when I entered that test like last year I didn't win I didn't even get in like the running I did kind of a crappy job on the video I'm not gonna lie but this brush is really nice so I'm gonna use the delete color underneath my and my lower lash line I don't even know what lip I'm gonna use with this. I'm just like winging it. I'm gonna do my liner. I don't usually like doing my eyeliner on camera because it takes forever. And I feel like I might mess up and I don't wanna mess up because so far this look is everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into my Vice palette and take that um, color bitter and then finish up my nose contour here because I just kind of like how bitter looks as a contour shade I'm also probably gonna go in with my MAC mineralized skin finish to blend out some of the edges a little bit more I feel like it's a very obvious nose contour and I don't want it to look obvious and I don't or it is I don't want it to look too obvious but um gonna wipe away this excess powder underneath my eyes because I'm pretty sure I'm all set there. Okay, so I'm gonna go in in my uh dark deep skin finish and kind of go over the nose a little bit more. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. Get to that in a minute. So, I love to 
contour with my, well, not even contour, bronze, I guess, with the bitter color. I don't know. I just really, the color just does it for me. I just like it a lot. It's very pretty. Just look at that. Gorgeous. I feel like it matches my natural undertones to my face. I think that's what it's called. It's like a reddish, brownish color. And it's just gorgeous. And I'll live for it. I'm living right now. Okay, he loves it. Um, I'm gonna do, uh, I don't know what to do next. Okay, so now I am going to do some highlighting. So I'm gonna be taking my MAC Global Glow Highlighter. This is what it looks like, it's super pretty. I recommend this to anyone that wants a highlighter that's kind of high end. I'm gonna be combining this with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecta in Champagne Pop. I believe this was the Jaclyn Hill collection. I feel like the, uh, the shimmering or this by itself is a little bit too harsh, but underneath this one looks pretty nice. Um, I just prefer to not wear it by itself. But this by itself is beautiful. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my, sorry, this brush is the um, e.l.f. brush, e.l.f. blush brush. This is what I use for my highlighter. I'm going crazy on highlighter today. And my battery is running out. I knew this was gonna happen, jeez. I'm gonna try to finish this as fast as I can. Um, okay, so next I'm gonna be taking something. Oh, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Where is it? Um, where are you? Oh my God, like for real. Okay, this brush is from e.l.f. This is their blending brush. I'm gonna use this in my Champagne Pop from Becca and use that as my inner corner highlight. And then I'm gonna go in again with the uh, bitter and go underneath my eyes where I feel like it should be a little bit more defined. I'm also gonna go back with my mascara and um, put some on my bottom lashes. And then come back with the finished look because I need to charge my battery a little bit. 